We got a bunch of summer books. I buy one, get one half price still. If you watch last week's vlog, you'll see that that was happening too. But I feel like there are other ones now. Because I don't recognize all of these. There's so many like pretty summery colors. A lot of people have been hyping up Ellen Hogan Brand's work. I'm excited to read some from her. I just talked about that in my recent summer July TBR video. How I want to read one of her books. And it looks like they still have this sale going on for romance books too. They have a lot of like new adult as well as um, young adult books for um, going half off and even some signed copies as you can see. This one popped out to me. It's called A Thousand Miles by Bridget Morrissey. And let's see what it's about. So this girl has a podcast called Did I Forget to Tell You? She interviews everyone, even people she used to go out with. And now her high school best friend. Ooh, I'm sure something's gonna happen between the two of them. That sounds good. I've been seeing this one around a lot. It's called The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. I really don't know what it's about. The romance is dead, but this isn't what she had in mind. Oh, it's about a ghostwriter in the romance novel industry. Oh, interesting. A lot of people have been saying this is good and Ellie Hazelwood hyped it up. I'm pretty sure Emily Henry is also saying good things about it. And it's a monthly pick of Barnes & Noble, that's cool. If you're looking for a book with Jewish representation and a lot of Gilmore Girls vibes, then definitely check out A Seen on TV by Meredith Shore. I've been following her on Twitter and she just seems like such a nice, wonderful person and I just really want to read this so maybe I'll get it today. And here we've got some YA novels on sale. I recommend so many of these. Like, there are a lot of these I've read and I've already enjoyed and some I haven't yet. Ooh, and in the French kiss, my face. Of course, I'm paying a visit to the book talk section every summer after and Christina Lauren. I have yet to read this one, but I really want to because it sounds good. A lot of these are just obviously just ones people talk about a lot on TikTok. I read this recently, I really liked it. Of yet to read book lovers. Well, I've read the beginning and I enjoyed it so far. This sounds really interesting because it's something different than Christine and Lauren usually write. This one is more of like a Western sort of adventure. It's still a romance, but has more of like a Western vibe. Usually I go to the romance section first, so today let's start with the young adult. There are a ton of Jen Bennett's books and they look so pretty together. If you're looking for some nice contemporary romances, then definitely these are the books you should check out. So I've definitely seen at least one comment um, on my channel, people talking about this book. I started it on Kindle and it sounds like a really sweet big dating book, but it looks like this author just came out with a new one. Um, this one sounds like a bit more sad, but it does sound like a best friend's brother trope story. So we love that. And this cover is so cool. Oh my gosh, if you've watched Jane the Virgin, this is the book that Jane writes on the show. I can't believe I just stumbled upon this. Has anyone read this? I've watched the first three seasons, I think. I love that show, it's so funny. And if you watched my last vlog, you know that I really want to get this because it's supposed to be like a modern version of one of my favorite movies called My Favorite Wife, but... I need to wait. Let's get started and do a book haul. So some of these books I got from Barnes and Noble and some of these I did not, but I just thought I'd do a collective haul and show you books that I've gotten recently. So let's go. The first book I'm literally so excited to talk about, I pre-ordered it from Barnes and Noble and it's called Family of Liars. Does this look familiar? Okay, it's because this is the prequel to We Were Liars, which was one of my favorite books of 2015 and honestly of all time. Like that book had me shook, that book was amazing. Like I did not see it coming, incredible writing, like, just so good. Um, and so this is a prequel because it's about the protagonist's family when like her parents and grandparents and stuff when they were younger. Um, and it's basically about this like rich family that lives on an island and they all lie to each other and there are so many like secrets and stuff. And yeah, at the beginning of We Were Liars, I think even the first half, it's hard to tell what's even going on. Um, but I would say just power through and read it because it'll be so worth it. But if you are somebody who like feels more comfortable looking up trigger warnings for it, then I would definitely recommend you do that before you read. Um, but yeah, Family Liars is the prequel and I'm just so excited and it says it's a Barnes and Noble exclusive that it includes special content but I'm afraid of being like spoiled so I don't want to look inside to see what that content is but I am so incredibly excited to read this like if you're a fan of We Were Liars let me know because this book I, I just I need to read this if you've been liking this haul so far make sure to give this video a thumbs up because it lets me know that you like videos like this and it helps me out a lot okay the next one here if you watch my last few clips from Barnes & Noble, like, you know, I, I wanted to get this book so bad and I was like, no, I want a book buying ban, I can't. And I, ultimately I decided for a couple of reasons. 
first of all, the protagonist is Jewish and the author's Jewish. And I was like, done, done deal, support. We support Jewish people here. Like I'm Jewish, like I'm supporting. Um, second, this recently came out and I was like, okay, gotta support her, especially when the book has like just come out and she's also a debut author. Like let's help her out with the sales and everything. And third of all, um, the Gilmore Girls references in here. There's such Gilmore Girls vibes. There's even the, I think it's called a gazebo, like from Stars Hollow. If you watch Gilmore Girls, you know, you know, that show takes place in a small town. And basically this is about a 25 year old, which I like that age. I don't see that a lot in new adults. So she's 25 and she wants to be a journalist. She has this assignment to go to a small town called Pleasant Hollow, which is like Stars Hollow. If you watch Gilmore Girls, that's their small town. And she's gonna write a report about this guy who's building like this big commercial apartment complex or something. But it's gonna basically change this small town right so she's gonna write an article about it um and she's expecting everybody to basically act like they would in a hallmark film like super sweet and everything and it's like not what she expects like people are not like that for the most part there there's also romance in here so all those things combined i was like yeah i'm down for this i also love this cover um and meredith george seems like a really sweet person the author so i'm just super excited super excited to continue reading this i think i'm four or five chapters in and i'm definitely loving it so yeah this would classify as a young adult, I believe. And I think this one, well, this one will classify as a new adult. Next one here, I feel like a lot of people are gonna be excited about, as am I, and it's Love and Olives by Jenna Evans Walsh. This is the third book in this companion series she has called Love and Other Detours, I guess. It's like Love and Gelato, which takes place in Italy, um, Love and Luck, which takes place in Ireland, and then Love and Olives, which takes place in Greece. This cover's so cute. Um, and yeah, it's about this girl named Liv who goes to Greece. I, her dad went missing years ago trying to find the lost city of Atlantis. So I don't know if she's trying to like track him down, but it takes place in Santorini. And I'm just so excited to read about the vibes, you know, the the mystery that's gonna be there and the setting. And I'm just excited. I like Jenna's other books that I've read. Um, so definitely excited for this one. I just love books that are set abroad. And I have said this before, but if you want me to do a video on like book recommendations about books that are set abroad, Abroad. so for me abroad would mean not in America um, then let me know because I have so many recommendations and it's also one of my favorite things to write about so anyway really excited for this one it's I feel like it's a lot thicker than the last two though so this next book here I've talked about on the channel several times I've also seen you know people talking about it online it definitely blew up on TikTok this is also a debut author every summer after by Carly Fortune um, this one is about this person who's like 30 and when she was growing up she would go for like six summers in a row. She lived in this lake house next door to these brothers. Now she hasn't talked to them in over 10 years and now she's 30 and she's going back to that lake town to basically attend their mom's funeral because she was like close to their mom and close to them. So she's basically reuniting with these brothers after all this time and she had like a, a really, really close friendship and maybe something more with one of them. So yeah, uh, if you're into like summery lakeside kind of books, um, then I would definitely recommend this. This is very much new adult, so just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this cover also and just, just love good summery books. And I have posted a couple of like summer book recommendations videos lately. I posted like a summer TV our video and so those are books I haven't read yet and then I posted like summer YA recs and I've also posted a bunch of other recommendation videos lately and I talked about this one and a bunch of other like summer books so if you're into that then definitely like check those out next should also come as no surprise I love Emily Henry's writing and this is her newest book book lovers and this is about a literary agent and an editor who fall in love I think in a small town as you can see I also love these small town stories that I'm just excited to to dive in and to read this. Um, and I also like that it talks about the publishing world. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to it, but I have read the beginning of it. And I mean, Emily Henry's just a great writer, so definitely down to read this. Um, and I did talk about it in my TBR video. And Emily Henry, um, she's, I mean, she's written other books. She's written Bee Tree, People Who Meet On Vacation. She has some YA novels she's also released. But yeah, this is, I believe, her third new adult novel. This next one here I already read and I'm so excited to talk about it in my wrap up. You have no idea. It's called See You Yesterday by Rachel and Solomon. If you've read Today, Tonight, Tomorrow, Weather Girl, The X Talk, I mean, so many, she's written so many books already. Um, she's the author of this. This is basically about two people who it's their first day of college and they get stuck in a time loop together. So basically they're forced to repeat the first day of college over and over and over and over again. The science in here is super easy to understand. It's really smart. Like I got, but definitely impressed by the way that Rachel tackled the time loop theories and stuff, but it's not difficult to understand. Like if you're not into sci-fi, like 
you're fine. I don't read a lot of sci-fi, so this was perfect. So yeah, it's like a contemporary with like sci-fi elements to it, um, but it reads like a contemporary very much so. Um, the romance in here is fantastic and there's Jewish representation in this book as well. And Rachel is Jewish, so I was like time to support. And also I recently went to the book signing for this book. So Rachel Lynn Solomon and Marissa Cantor, who's another contemporary Jewish writer. Um, she has a couple of YA novels out already. They basically did like a conversation at the Ripped Bodice, which is this women owned independent bookstore. And it was so much fun to attend and they're so nice and so sweet. But yeah, I'm just, I just love this book so much. I'm so excited to talk about it more in my wrap up. I'm already about 90 pages through and it's Tokyo Dreaming by Miko G. This is a YA novel and it's a sequel to Tokyo Ever After which is about a girl who finds out that she's a princess of Japan and moves there and starts learning how to be a princess. So this is the sequel, it's a continuation of the story. If you're into like, again, books set abroad, stories about royalty, if you're looking to read a book that takes place in Japan, in Tokyo, um, if you're into the princess diaries, definitely recommend picking this one up. The next book I think was also Barnes Noble pre-order. Sorry, I forgot to say where I've been, where I got all these books from, but a Chauffeur 2 by Tashi Buyan. This is her second YA novel. This is about a girl who's about to graduate from high school. She wants to win a film competition, I believe to get a scholarship, um, but she needs the help of this actor who has gone undercover at her school. Um, and so they kind of like help each other out. It's sort of an enemies to lovers. It takes place in New York City and they explore the city a lot. So it was fun for me because I really don't know New York well. So it was fun to get to like explore it through the protagonist's eyes. And if you want more of my thoughts on this, I talked about it in my mid-year book freakout tag. I didn't do a separate June wrap up and I don't think I will for this year, but in the mid-year book freakout tag, all I really did was go over every book that I finished reading so far this year and given like what it's about and a little bit of my thoughts. So if you want more of my thoughts on a show for two as well as other books I've read this year, then definitely go ahead and watch that. I posted that recently. And now for an adult novel, which I did talk about in my July slash summer TBR video. Go ahead and check that out too if you want to. It's called Stealing Home, which is the first Sweet Magnolia's novel. It's about three best friends who've grown up together and it's basically about their lives as adults, their kids, the things that they're going through. Um, it's, there's a show on Netflix that's based on this series and I love the show there are two seasons out so far love the show so i was like i'm gonna give this a try when i bought this at barnes and noble i did read like a couple pages of it and i already liked it so definitely excited to dive in and read the original story and in book form and finally a middle grade novel that i grew up reading and loved so much and that's katie kazoo switcheroo got myself a new copy because i have been reading it with some of my students. And so it's called Katie Kazoo Switcheroo Anyone But Me. It's essentially about a girl named Katie who continuously suddenly will like switcheroo into somebody else's body and she has to kind of like pretend to be like them because people don't know that this happens to her. Um, I believe she's in fourth grade, third grade, fourth grade. Um, but I just really love this series growing up. I remember reading a couple of them, really enjoying them. So I thought it would be nice to read with some of my young students. Um, and they've been really liking it so far. And I love like the fashion you have on here. This book was written around like 20 years ago. Like the fashion of the time was so much fun. By the way, before you go, I want to say thank you so much for almost 6K subscribers. This is incredible and I feel so grateful to to all of you thank you so so much leave a comment below letting me know what you're currently reading i'm definitely very curious as always make sure not to put any spoilers in the comments but i am excited to see what y'all are reading and have a conversation going i will also leave my other socials down below i'm doing a giveaway on instagram right now so definitely go ahead and check that out and i will talk to you all soon bye